Hello students. In the last video, you learned how to change the subject of a formula where only one step was required. So in this video, we've given you some formulas where it's going to require you to do, use two steps to change the subject of a formula. So let's get started. Okay, quick reminder, we have to undo adding and subtracting first, and then we have to undo multiplying and dividing. So I want to make m the subject. Well, m is multiplied by 2, and then n is added. So the first thing I have to do is undo the adding by subtracting. So to each side of the equation, I subtract n. I'm going to write my 2m on the left-hand side, because that's where I want the m to end up. And I'll write the a minus n on the right-hand side. And then to get rid of the 2, I just divide by 2, since that's multiply. The opposite of multiplying is divide. And I divide all of that side by 2. And the equation is m equals a take n all over 2. OK, now this equation over here, the second one, looks similar to the one on the, on the left. But I have brackets in there. Now this one's actually going to take a little bit of extra work. What I have to do is get rid of the brackets first. So what I'm going to do is divide both sides by 2. The 2's cancel out, or 2 divide 2 equals 1. And on this side, a over 2. So what I've got left on the right-hand side is m plus n, which I will move to the left-hand side, equals a over 2. And then the last step subtract n from both sides. So I'll just put it a bit lower. Subtract n from both sides. And that leaves me with just the m on the left. And on the right, I've got a over 2 minus n. OK, on the next page, I've got three questions I'd like you to do. So stop the video and have a go. And this one is slightly different to the two worked examples. OK, let's see how you went on that. So here we want to make, in each case, make y the subject. So once again, AMIB says the first thing we do is we undo any adding or subtracting. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. Minus 2 plus 2 goes to 0. I'll write the 4y on the left and the z plus 2 on the right, and then divide both sides by 4. Notice I've got to put all of that over 4. And that gives me y equals z plus 2 over 4. OK, in this equation here, before I can get the y out of the brackets, I've got to get rid of the brackets. So the first thing I'm going to do here is divide both sides by p. The p's cross out. That leaves me with just y minus 4, which I'm going to write on the left, equals z over p. And to finish off, we undo subtracting 4 by adding 4. They cancel out. And y equals z over p plus 4. OK, and the last one. Here we have the y outside the brackets. Now, there's a couple things you could do here. You could expand first. That's one way to do it. But it turns out it's easier, in my opinion, to say, well, I can divide by all of p minus 4. So if I divide all of that by p minus 4, and I divide the z by p minus 4, well, p minus 4 over p minus 4 cancels. I could put that in brackets if I wanted to, but I don't need to. And that leaves just a y on the left, and z over p minus 4 on the right. So what I did here is I've divided out a common factor, but the factor was actually an algebraic expression and not just a single letter or a single number. But nothing wrong with that. Okie doke. In the next video, we'll look at um, a more complicated formula and see if you can change the subject for that one.